Hey everyone, in this 4 minute video, we are going to discuss about OAuth 2.0 grant types and which one to use in which scenarios. My son Panil Sarkar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Optional prerequisites for this video good to get a basic understanding of uh, why do you need OAuth 2.0 for your APIs and the basics of OAuth 2.0 in earlier 4 minute videos. In earlier 4 minute videos, we have discussed how Apache Edge API management platform can play a role of OAuth authorization server that is in between the consumption channel and the backends and help you secure your APIs using OAuth 2.0 even if your backends are not secured. We have discussed how the client applications gets access to the API resources using access tokens. Access tokens consider them as a keys to unlock the APIs and the data that is stored in your backend services. OAuth grant types are nothing but how these client applications gets access to these access tokens and how they are getting generated it is actually defined by the grant type. So grant type is nothing but how the access token is getting generated and how the client application gets access to the access token before sending the access token to get back the response in the API call. Primarily there are four grant types. In this video we are going to discuss about uh, what are those grant types and uh, when do you use them. Primarily the grant type is decided whether the resource owner is involved or not and what kind of client application is trying to access these APIs. Let's see the grant types. The first one is client credentials grant type. The client credentials grant type is used in highly trusted client environment where in general it is used in machine to a machine and communication where applications are talking to applications where the resource owner and end user is either not involved or the consent is not required. The examples of these are server side applications where the client is an application on the server side which is talking to another resource server and getting access to the APIs. It can be internal cron jobs or bad jobs or it can be internal applications which is trying to access the APIs and the associated data. The next grant type is authorization code grant type. This is in general used uh, in third party application scenarios where you are giving access to another third party application which is trying to access your APIs. Generally these third party applications will have a server side code and resource owner consent is required. This particular grant type is highly secure, client will never see the username and password. Typical examples are whenever you clicked on sign in with Google button or sign in with Facebook or any other provider button to log in into third party application you have actually used the authorization code grant type. The main thing to remember is the client is a third party client not going to share the username and password with the client and the user consent is required. And the next one is resource owner password credentials grant type. Here uh, this particular grant type is used in the first party applications where the application is built by the same company. Generally these applications are written by the same company where you can actually take the username and password and then authenticate the user generate an access token which will be used in the subsequent calls. So clients are fully trusted with the user credentials in this particular grant type. The last one is implicit grant type which is uh, in general used uh, for single page application. Treat uh, this grant type as a simplified version of authorization code where uh, the authorization code is not sent back directly the access token is sent back. In general it is used in the single page UI only applications. Generally the application is a third party uh, single page application which is trying to access your APIs. In future videos, we are actually going to see how to implement these grant types in Apache Edge and secure your APIs. Stay tuned for more videos and if you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apache.com. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.